I enjoy shopping for gifts. Now, I don't like to get a gift that's readily available or reasonable in price or a common item on every guest list like a pen or a book or a popular CD. I prefer to take my time looking for something that I believe a person needs or could definitely use. So I'm not simply looking for anything. I'm looking for something in particular, something unique for the person whom I know and love. For instance, last Christmas, I went shopping for a Christmas gift for my mother at the mall. The first place I went into was Bloomingdale's. At first, I looked at and carefully smelt the various new fragrances. While they all smelled lovely, somehow I knew none of them was a fragrance my mother would wear. They just seemed too strong for a woman I experienced as more subtle in her taste. I then looked at the jewelry and at the kitchenware and at figurines and ladies' purses. After about two hours, I was weary from looking and decided to try again the next day. I was confident that I would eventually find what I was looking for. It would not be something I would know simply by seeing it. It would actually involve my heart. Because when I saw what I had been searching for, my heart would tell me I finally found it. The next day I was walking through Macy's in New York City and I came, believe it or not, to picture frames. And suddenly I remembered I had taken a lovely picture of my mother and father that fall. They were walking in front of me and they had their arms behind each other's back. It was such a tender picture of intimacy which managed to capture their 64 years of marriage. And when I saw the perfect frame, I knew in my heart, this is what I wanted. I had found the gift I knew my mother would love. I believe that when we pray to Mary, our mother of perpetual help, she finds for us the particular gift we're hoping for, the one gift we need, the particular grace from God that will help us most. In the book of Proverbs, there's a beautiful verse which I have always applied to Mary. They that in the early morning watch for me shall find me. Another translation of the words shall find me reads shall find grace, which implies, of course, that to find Mary is to find grace. St. Bernard of Clairvaux takes this image a step further and urges us, seek grace and seek it through Mary, the finder of grace. I like this title, don't you? Mary, the finder of grace. Mary is the finder of grace, carefully searching for the particular grace she knows we need looking for the grace which her heart tells her will truly help us either to find our way or free us from the temptation we face or assure us that we are not alone or encourage us not to be afraid. I truly believe this is Mary's greatest gift for us sinners. Mary who is full of grace, searches for the grace we sinners have lost, the grace we can't find without her help. St. Alphonsus, the founder of the Redemptorists, exhorts all of us who have lost grace to go to Mary and we will find grace with her. He tells us to confidently urge her, Mary, Give me back what I have lost and what you have found. Because Mary always finds what she seeks and will not fail us.